In today's video, I'm going to show you how to rebuild this amp. Right here. Yeah. Hold the phone. We're not going to build that other amp. We're going to build this amp. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got mojoed. Shot guitar, baby. Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'd like to introduce to you Franken Amp. That's right, Franken Amp. We took two amps and made them into one. One super amp. And let me show you how we did that. Well, here's the first amp that we started off with. This is a Carbon SX 100 watt amp. I bought this off of Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I paid $20 for this. And it wasn't working, but I figured if I could get it working, <clears throat> you know, maybe it would be worth something. But I took a look at that speaker in the back of there. And that nice big speaker right there. That's 100 watt. And I tried it out, and the speaker works, and it's a nice speaker. So I got to thinking, you know, why not take this cabinet right here, strip it all down, recover it, and use the uh, guts from the other amp. I, you know, and it sounded like a pretty good idea to me. Well, one of the first things we have to do is take it apart here. We can take off the handle and all the little corner pieces and stuff like that and we'll take all the corner pieces off stuff like that get it all stripped down we'll get that speaker out of there next yep it'll come right out of there look at that that's a nice big beefy speaker 100 watts 8 ohms that should handle that other that gorilla amp with the uh, ooh, a little bit of cobwebs with the uh, 150 watts man that should handle it anyway on to the next step I think we're going to get all the rest of the stuff off this thing so I'm taking off all them screws and stuff like that I got a little bit weary so I decided that I was going to go get the drill I'm going to hook it up a little bit here Then we'll use that to uh, take a couple of them corner brackets off. Those corner brackets sometimes can be a little bit tough. Those screw heads get a little bit uh, rusted in there. And here we are taking the front screen off of it. It's got like a metal, expanded metal mesh screen across the front of it. Half a dozen screws holding it in. Kind of like that. It's gonna look at that all cleaned up, spray it real nice. There you go. And it's got a little piece of felt or something behind there. But there's the cabinet. Now we gotta do is get all that material off the outside of it. And we will waste no time getting that material off there. Good to see it go. Bye, bye, bye. And it didn't look like they used very much glue to hold it on there. But yeah, I bet that was a, sh a sharp looking amp when it was brand new though. But it's going to get re it's getting re refurbished. It's going to see a better a second life. You know, it's not just going to the junkyard or, you know, part of it's going to. I keep the other part around the part that was for. Uh, keep them for parts and stuff but yeah that's a good solid box good solid box oh yeah good job taking that apart there Pat oh yeah thumbs up yeah right on all right next thing we do is get the box all cleaned up we run some sandpaper over it we knock some of that old glue off there now we're just kind of wiping it down with a rag a little bit kind of get all the you know 
the dust and dirt and stuff like that. We give it a nice clean, nice cleaning, and so we, we can get a nice fresh start. And now we're about ready to lace the material on there. Oh yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Got a nice piece of green vinyl. And the camera's not really showing it all that well. It's a little bit brighter than that. But yeah, it's going to look real sweet. We're going to wrap it right around there. Looky there, looky there, looky there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we took all of our corner pieces and stuff like that out of the garage and gave them a nice spray of some flat black paint real look look real nice look fresh and new and we even gave that mesh screen a, a nice fresh coat of paint and we got everything all painted up so I think the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna get the inside of that amp all taken care of all the pots cleaned out and all the plugs and everything taken care of so it's all ready to go what do you say we do that Okay, we got the four screws out of the top there, and we're just gonna we've un, we've disconnected the wire to the speaker and the wires to the reverb unit, and we're just gonna go ahead and slide this right out just like that. There we go. See how easy that is right there. We got the whole unit right there. All right, we're gonna go get rid of this cabinet. And we're gonna set that aside and get a look at this inside here. All right, and here we have the inside of that amp. And what we're basically going to do is we're going to look, give it a visual inspection. It does have quite a bit of cobwebs and junk like that in it, you know. But uh, we're going to go through with a, uh, uh, with a little paintbrush and go ahead and knock out all the cobwebs and bugs and any kind of little dirt that might be in there. And you want to look for anything that just doesn't look right, anything that looks burned, anything that looks uh, different than the other stuff. And there, oops, there's the pots right back there. They got a little hole right in the top. You see where that little slot is on the top of them? That's where we're going to put some cleaner in there. And we're going to get those pots working real nice. And everything looks like it's pretty good. We're going to come around here to the front. And we're going to go ahead and take all these knobs and stuff off there. We're going to clean those up real nice. And, uh, See what the back looks like here. Well, probably just go through here and clean up these pots right back here where you plug everything in. And probably just, uh, you know, take over, shine it up real nice, make it look real beautiful. Okay, let's uh, get the other here. We'll go to the other shop. All right, now I got my little paintbrush right here, and we're basically just going to go in here and knock out all the cobwebs and dust and dirt, stuff like that. Make sure you get all the nooks and crannies and stuff. Be careful that you don't knock things around too much. Don't be too aggressive. Just kind of get in there and lightly get where the cobwebs are. If you have a little bit of uh, compressed air or anything like that, that sometimes that works kind of nice too. Just get in there and blow it all, all the dust and junk out of there. And I'll just give it a little blow off right there, just like that. Sometimes that stuff just get those little cobwebs out of there nice. There we go. That don't look too bad whatsoever. Okay, let's take these knobs off the front here. Let's see if they're going to come off easy or not. They are not. So, let me just make sure that they are not screwed on there with a set screw, and they are not. So, let's see what we got to get underneath there with. Okay, I'm going to give this a whirl. It's going to get underneath there. Nope, it's not. Tell you what, I'll be right back. We'll find something. All right, we're back. And, uh, well, sometimes you got to get a little bit inventive. And what I did is I have this little tool that they make for taking the... Uh, strings out of an acoustic guitar, you know, getting those little lock things out of there. And well, but it works pretty good for this because I'm going to put it right up underneath that knob just like that and just give it a little 
yank on that side, then I'll turn it to the other side, do the same thing, and hopefully this will pop right off there. They're putting up a fight. There, came right off. No problem. Oh, they got these on there good. Oh. Great. Broke that pot right off. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to leave the rest of these pots in there. That That's just... All right. Well, let's see what we can do. Let's turn it off see what we can do with it. All righty. We're back. We got our broken pot fixed. I had to go in there and take it all apart. In fact, it still don't look right. Looks like it's sticking out too far. But we'll have to see here, huh? And we have a little fun. There. There, now she's in there. Yeah, I can live with that. All right. If it don't work the first time, hit it with a hammer, right? Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around here so you can kind of see what we're doing here. See, uh, right here in the back of these pots right here, they're a little, let's see if we can't tighten in on that. Let's see if we can't get that shot right there. Right here, I don't know if you my finger right there, right there, there's some little holes right there in the top of those pots right there, as you can see. Now, what you want to do is you want to get a little bit of this here. Um, electronics cleaner here and you want to spray just a little bit right here in the top of them right there I'm going to go ahead and start spraying some in there and make sure that the uh, cans can get some in it and we're going to go ahead and spray some in each one of those Okay, now that we got to square that stuff in there, we're going to turn this around and we're just going to give these knobs a, a back and forth like that. Each one of them. Right back! Alrighty, I went ahead and, you know, squirted some cleaner in all these pots in the back here. And we went through and we turned all the knobs a whole bunch of times until they felt like they were really moving nice and easy. And there wasn't any any resistance, and they all felt like they were just moving real nice and easy. And that's the way out. And then I went ahead and wiped down the front of it so that it looks nice and clean. Get all those old fingerprints off of there. So, yeah, we're getting it looking real nice. And now we're going to go around, turn around the back here. We're going to go ahead and wipe the back down, too, just a little bit. You know, get all those little fingerprints off the back there, and all the smudges in between, the old dirt and grime. It doesn't really need any special, anything special. And what we're going to do back here is we have these right here, your your outlets. You got your power amp out and your preamp out, your headphone out, your reverb out, and your tube stack out. So what we're going to do is we went ahead and we cleaned all around there. And usually what I do is I just take a little piece of rolled up sandpaper and just sort of stick it in there in each one of these and turn it around a little bit to kind of clean those out. I did that on the on the jacks on the front here too. So we've kind of went over there and we got this all wiped down right here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside and we're going to go get the cabinet. Be okay, we got the speaker out of it right there. You know, that's just a little 10 inch speaker and that's a 150 watt amp. And as you can see on the back there, uh, as you could see on the back there, it just said 45 watts, and that's just not enough for in, in 150 watts. So the other speaker is going to go very well in there with that one. Well, we got some vinyl on it. You can see we've got it pretty much covered. All we got to do is put the corner pieces on, <clears throat> do the finishing touches. Be looking beautiful in no time. 
And there you have it. We got it all put together. Man, she's shining nice. Got a handle on it. Got everything on it. We'll turn it around. Side. That is a beautiful color. I like that. Come on, turn it around, man. Come on. See what she looks like in the back. Not that looking like that. All right, we'll see what she looks like on the next shot. Well, there you have it. Franken amp. Mojo Shop Guitars, very first amp. Don't pay no attention to that little hole there in the end of the amp there. We, we fix that all up, make it look pretty. Still, you know, we, we put the finishing touches on it, but man, ain't she looking beautiful. Look at that. It's got a lot of features to it, too. Got a lot of features to it. We're going to show you. How good, how well it sounds, and everything here in just a little bit. But yeah, it's turned out real, real, looking real nice. Let's take a look at the front down there a little bit. Oh yeah, got that little gorilla insignia on there. The front turned out looking nice. Sides nice and clean. Oh look at that! Oh look at the top. Beautiful. That's a beautiful color. You walk into a gig or someplace like that with something like that, it's people are going to notice you. Look at that. Nice big Carvin British series 100 watt 12 inch speaker made in the USA. It's the only kind, ain't there? Look at that 150 watts. It's a lot. Looks like it's from uh, December of 1985. She's got a little age in her. She's still getting ready to rock. She's got a new lease on life now. She's looking pretty. Oh, yeah, look at that. What do you say we take it over to. Uh, See what she's going to sound like, huh? That's not a good idea. Let's do that. Well, there she is, folks. It turned out real nice. Um, I love the green color on it. It is beautiful. But it not only does it look good, it sounds really good, too. It turned out real nice. Um, you know, the, the, the addition of the bigger speaker really made a, di a difference. You know, that little tiny speaker just wasn't going to cut it in this thing. Not with 150 watts, was it? And anyway, I think it really turned out nice. And, well, you know, it even sounds nicer than what it looks. And to try it out right now, we're going to give it a shot. And we're going to try it out with this nice little Squire Tornado here. A real nice little, little instrument here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to give you a little taste of what it sounds like. volume to it we got it barely turned up and it has over here it has where you can plug it in it has a regular plug in and then it has a boost plug in if you want to go through the boost part of it there sounds real good nice and clean and it has a stack the stack tube really makes a big difference too Now we have a high boost button over here, we'll turn that on.
one master volume and one regular and the regular volume's on one. It's barely even on. up for another successful build of Mojo Shot Guitar. We're going to put this ad for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Could be yours. It's a heck of an app, I'll tell you one thing. And it sure is a looker. When you walk into, walk into a place carrying this app, they're going to be like, hey. You know, walking into, a, into, a, into a, a gig or a jam session or something with this right here is better than walking in with a tall blonde. I mean, you're going to get more attention with this thing. Look at that. What is that thing? It's green. It's a gorilla. Oh, wow. That's awesome. 150 watts, really. Yeah. It, it takes command. It's got a chance, you know, just like when we build a guitar, you know. It's it's a contender. I don't build no slouches. So there you have it. We're going to have that up for sale in Marketplace. And, uh, well, i got to say, this is adios for now from Bojo Shop Guitar. Baby. <laughs> Mojo Shop Guitar Please like and subscribe